Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a project share to share with you guys and it is a fall slash Thanksgiving themed um, cinch bound album. And I had so much fun making this and I'm gonna tell you guys the paper I used. So I used this collection called Celebrate Autumn by echo park i think this was either in one of my mystery boxes or maybe i just got it because it was nice and cheap and it was fall themed and you guys know i love fall um i don't have a lot left but i do have some scraps here um these are like my biggest scraps in here so i have a little bit i'm gonna try to create something with that i'm not sure what though and i have a few cut aparts left as well and then I got plenty of stickers left because they were just really big. I used up some of them all in um, this album. The ones that I used up, I used in here. But a lot of them are just like super big. So I didn't get a chance to use all of them. But let's get right into this and I'll show you guys what I created. Okay, so I created the Cinchbound album. It measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And the spine is one inch. And I made the spine with um, uh, with the fabric. And this is just from Hobby Lobby. I think I ordered it online too. Um, but yeah, or maybe I got it in store, I don't know. But it is Hobby Lobby because I had just opened this today when I was making this and it said Hobby Lobby on it. Um, here I have some flowers that were in my stash. I know this one is Little Birdie Crafts and I don't know where these two are from. This one might be Little Birdie Crafts but this one I don't remember. It might have been in some Happy Mail. I'm not sure. And then these other ones, I don't know, either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Then I have um, some enamel dots here and here. I've got this cut apart here that says give thanks with a grateful heart and this cute little porcupine. I've got this uh, trim. I think this is from, uh, I want to say Joann's or maybe Michael's actually, but it's, it's like a time and place um, ribbon. That's the brand or something like that. Um, so I don't really know where that's from, but I love this and I feel like I'm running low on it now. Um, all right, so the spine, nothing on there, just the fabric. And then the back side is this plaid and I stamped my uh, logo kind of handmade sticker thingy there um, onto like an off-white color because the white was just like really bright and everything in this collection was, I mean, there is white in here, but it was also just a lot of off-white colors. Um, so you open this up and this is attached here on an eyelet, my ribbon. You don't see it on the inside. It's underneath um, that paper other layer. And my whole background is the striped paper. So it goes all the way throughout. Um, here I have this little waterfall. It says so very thankful. And it just looks like this. Um, so I just have that there. Then here it says give thanks autumn joyful. And I have this cute little like, um, what is this? Like a photo closure and it just opens up so then you could take this out and you could do some journaling on it or it slides back in and you could always close it back up to hold it in place i just didn't want it flopping around so i had added that in there though i realized i probably should have added it on the bottom here so this doesn't fall down but it's been pretty doing pretty good holding up anyway um so here on the back i have this fall sticker and underneath that, you could still tuck in like your photo mat or whatever if you wanted to include a photo here. It could still go behind that. Then I have this cute little like squirrel uh, cut apart with a paper clip onto this little envelope that I made. I didn't have like a full sheet, so there was a lot going on in here. I kind of paper pieced two sheets together. But anyway, I just like how this is kind of holding that closed instead of like a Velcro closure. And this opens up like so. And in there I have this cut apart that just says fall is fun. And the recipient could add in more photos here as well. And I just like this cute little decorative element that holds that closed. So I thought that was cute. Then on the back side you could add another photo here. 
Here I have a photo mat. I don't have a lot of photo mats, but I have some so that the recipient could see like some examples of where they could add photos. And my photo mats are a quarter of an inch bigger, except for these ones up here on the colored pages. Those are three by four. So if you wanted to add in a three by four photo and you still want the border, I would cut those down a little. But on, um, on these ones, these are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So if you add a three by four photo, it'll fit perfectly and you still have some of that like off-white colored border. Um, so I just used some scrap piece of paper here behind it to add a little bit of something. I added a pumpkin from the sticker sheet and then I just die cut this tag out and added some twine. And that just tucks in behind that photo mat. Then this opens up here. I have this little cut apart that says Hello Fall. And behind that I have two more cut aparts. Now the recipient could do some journaling on here. I could add photos to the back as well. And they could also add a photo here, tuck it behind here, and still have a tuck spot or just get rid of this tuck spot altogether and put these um, in one of the pockets throughout, just have a photo there. There's so many options. Um, and then this opens up as well. And you've got like two pages to add more photos. Then I have this pocket here and there's another cut apart in here that just says thankful. And it looks like that and that tucks right back in there. Then here you could add another photo. Here I have another photo mat just decorated with some scraps of paper I had just to kind of break up some of the patterns and add a little bit of interest at the same time. So here I have like this branchy kind of thing that was on the sticker sheet and then a bird down here. Moving on to the next page here. Oh, this is not supposed to go here. <laughs> Please hold, where does this go? Okay, that does not go there. We'll figure that out in a second, but this is just a photo mat. I'll figure that out. Um, so here's the next page. You can add photos here on this side and you could obviously like do a collaging thing, which is why I don't like to add too many photo mats. The photo mats are good to give like an idea, but um, sometimes you just might want a collage and it's not exactly the photo mat style. Um, but I have two photos here. They, these measure two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So they are perfect for two by three photos. And I left one open to have like a little um, tag tuck spot behind it. So that just goes back in there. And it also has this little twine. And I thought that was like a cute touch to have it like in between. Then this next page here. Is this a pocket? One of these is a pocket, is it not? I guess it's not, not yet. We'll get to the pocket part. Okay, um, so the next page here. Oh, wait, yes, it is a pocket. This goes right here. What am I doing? This goes in here. Okay, so this is a pocket page. As you guys just saw, I was able to tuck that thing back in there. And there is a four by six cut apart in here as well as that insert that I just put in. But there's also this that says beautiful autumn. And you can add a photo to the back or just stick that on a card. You can put that on this front too if you want and then add photos to the back. But I just wanted to give the recipient some options so that tucks right back in here. Um, you can add another photo here. And then here I have this pocket that has these florals and it says thankful. And there's a bunch of cut aparts in here. So you got these flowers. We got this that says auto market fresh apples thankful and blessed and another thankful and blessed and those just live in here and I just like to I love cut aparts number one but also with when I'm making these albums it uses the whole entire collection so I just stick them in the pockets and they make um they they look great on card editions you could also just like use one of these to decorate like a page you could paper clip it on however you want you could have, make this a little tuck spot and then tuck in uh, photos behind there with like apple picking photos or whatever it is um so those are always fun to have options here i have this tuck spot with a sticker and it's a cute little like fox and i've got this journal card cut apart that says fall fun and then you could add a photo to the back and you could add a photo back here as well then here you could add more photos this page has another um kind of layout so it has a photo mat it has a cute little acorn and then this uh, tag tuck spot as well that lives right behind that photo mat 
Then the next page here, I've got that plaid again that was on that um, tag. But this one has a cute little like tuck spot. So if you wanted to tuck something behind there, for example, you could. Um, but also that opens up again. And then you also have a tag in here. This one's got the off-white back. So you could add something on there and then you could add some photos. So that's fun. Here I have another little tuck spot. I wouldn't use this big photo mat here, but this is another tuck spot right there. And it says thankful and blessed. So you could tuck a photo behind it or add some other cut aparts. Um, or you could, or you could stick down a photo or just have a couple of tucked photos. So in the other pocket here, it says beautiful autumn and I have this flower and this says fall is in the air and you could add photos to the backs of these as well. So those live in that pocket. Then here I just have a paper clip and it says autumn memories. So you could do some journaling on there and then still add a photo on the back and photos here. So there's plenty of space for photos. Um, here I have a double pocket. So in this first one, this like burlap looking thing, I have this cut apart that says sweater weather. And this other one, I have this cute little truck with some pumpkins and it's adorable. So the pumpkin one and then the sweater weather and those are two pockets, but you could obviously add in photos as well. Add in, add photos here or just keep that as a fun page. And then here I have this tuck spot and it says autumn blessings and there I have this postcard. I mean, you could totally add this to like a card and mail this out as well if you wanted to, and then a happy fall cut apart. So those I just have kind of tucked in here, but you could also just tuck it under a photo and glue a photo down if you'd like, or leave it open, glue a photo down and still have a cut apart. Um, here I have like this bucket of flowers um, with some pumpkins and you can add photos here. And then you open this up and I have another um, one of those layouts and you could add in more photos here but I have the two um, photo mats that measure two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So you could add two by three photos. And then I also have this uh, tag that you could do some journaling on and add a photo if you'd like um, with that twine again. Um, then the next page, you could add more photos back here. I have another tuck spot here and this is a sticker that says, give thanks with a grateful heart. And behind there, I have this cut up part that says hello fall and just a, another photo mat. And I just have those living back here. And then this is also a pocket page. So in that pocket, I have this cut apart that says give thanks. And another insert where you could do photos and um, some journaling as well. So however you want to do it. Or you could glue that cut apart to it if you want some decoration on one side. And then here you could add more photos, more photos, more photos, and another photo here. So that is everything for my cinch bound um, fall album. I just, I love the cover. I love how it looks. I love how it turned out. Um, I, at first just looking at this collection, like I liked it when I bought it and then I got it and I was like, this is hard to use. Like there's like a lot of that burlap paper, but I think I made it work and I really like how this turned out. You guys know fall is one of my favorite seasons. I also liked how there was like a lot of like thankful and grateful cut aparts in here. So it could be used for Thanksgiving as well. And it just turned out really cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will link down below where I made a cinch bound album. It's like a four part or three part series. When I made my engagement album, it was this style. So you guys could learn a lot from that video and kind of make your own. So you can check out that tutorial down below and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.